I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God Cause all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so so good With every breath that I am able Oh I will see of the goodness of God I love your voice you have led me through the fire and in darkest night you are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend and I have lived in the goodness of God hey. Cause all my life you have been faithful Oh yes you have And all my life you have been so, so good Every breath that I am able Oh I will see of the goodness of God Your goodness is running after It's running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me With my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything Oh Lord Your
your presence once more. And we thank you that we are in your presence. For in your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We have just sung great is thy faithfulness. And we thank you that you have been good to us. Even when we did not deserve your goodness. We thank you that your mercy keeps running after us. We thank you that your mercies never fail us. For as we have sung, they are brand new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Here we are today in this service. Service of thanksgiving. Service when we are all brought to a new consciousness. Service in which we pause to even consider our own mortality. Oh God, help us that we will recognize as we celebrate in the service today, as we loved one to rest today, that indeed you will invoke within us those of us who are alive and remain, that we will be brought to the consciousness that it is appointed unto man once to die, but after death comes the judgment. Be with us in the service today. May everything be done decently and in order. May your name be glorified even in this service. These verses we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated, please. Good morning.
first one and Marks that uh, and forgive me if I'm butchering his names, Old Shepherd, close to him, William Ellis, and Yanni Clark to ready himself. So come here to the front uh, as it will be uh, your time to participate right after this audience is well selection. So that's Old Shepherd, William uh, Ellis, and Yanni
Papa, Tiana, Dada, Mr. Lindsay, AK Honda, and his little charity. If then any hurt them, he will feel the pain. That's how much he loves his family. Julie, we always say you are the strongest person, sister, that hold everyone and everything together. The rock. Tapa, he said, you are the smartest person and will be great. He loves you. Tiana, he loves you to the world and back. And his little chance to give you joy when you can see him. He will give his last to a stranger and say to him, Odey, it's all good. You will be okay. The day I received the news about his passing was a very sad day. I took all out from work. Took me a while to process the reality that I would never see him again in his in this life. But no angel, in those dark days, he will say, it's all good. We will be okay. <sighs> he was a real, genuine friend and will be missed by many. And definitely, he will be missed by me. Thank you, guys.
Jude was always put his family first and always encouraged us to help others with the little that we have. The day before he passed away, I had dreamt that he had brought me a penny to eat and I was packing. But little would I know that he would have passed away the next day, suddenly. I am glad that we are able to share jail with all of you and that he made such an impact on all our lives. And as he would say, it's all good. Even though our hearts won't let the sadness simply slide away. The echoes of him saying it's all good will never diminish, even though the memory stays. Jill, you were truly a caring and loving soul. Words cannot express what I can cont I am contented because I know it is all and it is good. My brother, George Edwards, Lindsay. Do 
good and good will come to you. When he passed away on February 4, 2004, the calls, the messages, and so much more kept flowing in, coming in. Everyone wanted to assist and wanted him to come back home to Jamaica, and they did just that. His goodness and love he showed to others touched so many hearts, and it is evident in his body being shipped from USA for burial in Jamaica. We want to express our sincerest gratitude to the team dub planning of Jill return to Jamaica. And a big thank you for making this possible. We love you all so dearly. He leaves behind his father, Herman Lindsay, his dear sister, Julia Lindsay Tapo, his brother, Marlon Lindsay, nieces, Tiana and Tanisha Tapo, grandniece, Rosa Bella, Grand nephew Josiah, Uncle, Uncle Sil, affectionately known as Hale Thomas, Neville Thomas, and so many dearest and closest friends. Because I could sit here and list out so many names. He was an honest, selfless, and most of all a family man, and a true friend to all. And he is missed dearly by all of us tremendously. But as Uncle Joe would say, it's all good. It's all good. You're good, man. It's all good. What do you say? It's all good because we are here in church today and we have another opportunity, yet another opportunity to make it all good. The most important thing for us to do to make it all good is to ensure that our own calling and election is sure. You know, as I listen to the various tributes, we can indeed say that George lived a good life, one that impacted on so many persons with whom he came in contact. We hear a constant spring on behalf of our pastor, our senior pastor, Pastor Leonard Steele, along with all our other church members, want to express our sincere condolences to the family of George Hillsworth Lindsay. And we know that the Lord is with you. He is the one who will ultimately provide the comfort that you need. We thank the family for having consented that an offering should be lifted. And at this time, we'll be doing so. And this offering will be collected in aid of our church building fund here at the Constant Spring Seventh-day Adventist Church. We are always seeking to make our facilities here much more convenient for all who come to worship with us. And we know that this offering will go to make our facilities here very much more convenient. At the, during the collection of this offering, rather, we will be singing the song, The Lord is my shepherd, I'll not want. And this will be sung to the tune of the happy wonder. Just before that offering is collected, I ask that you bow your heads with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for liberal hearts who are here in this funeral service today. We ask that as this offering is being lifted, that you will bless the givers in a special way. And may these funds go to the upliftment of your church here at Constant Spring. And may all who give will be blessed in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord's
presented to us today. For no service is complete without hearing from the Lord. To present this word to us today is a man of God. A man who does his utmost best to live in the will of God. A man who we can all take a page out of his book. A man who is here, touched by God, and will be used as a conduit to present his word to us today. I speak of our pastor, Troyton Beckford, who will give us a word from God to take and store in our hearts so that we can go ahead still remembering the Lord and Savior. Just before Pastor Beckford presents the word to us today, we will join together and sing the chorus. Reach out and touch the river as he passes by. The next voice you hear will be that of Pastor Joyton. George 
Lindsay, and I want to extend to you a warm and cordial welcome, despite your dead experience. Also want to welcome those who are joining us by way of the virtual means. I welcome you today to Constance Prayer. I always do this before I start, regardless of the role that I am playing, because I recognize that health is very important. So you have been sitting for a little while. I'm going to invite you to just stand at this time. You know, just stand at this time and to follow the instructions that I will give. I will come in the clear here so that you can see me. Want you now to just stretch out your right hand and give it a little shake. Alright. Do the same for the left hand, give it a little shake. Alright. Same for the right leg, give it a little shake. Yes. And also for the left leg, give it a little shake. Yes, that should get the blood circulating in your body. Now we're going to be singing just one chorus, What a Mighty God We Serve. Right, so I will be inviting you to join me at this time, inviting you to join us as well as we seek to sing this lovely chorus as we set the stage for the message today. What a mighty God! What a mighty God we serve! Can you put your hands together now? Angels only for me. Heaven and earth have glory. What a mighty God we serve. Commandment to do that. 
Here the Psalmist David is clear in his understanding and he helps us to understand that God understands who we are. That we are free. We are mortal. We are made from dust. We flourish as grass, as a flower. But then the wind comes and displaces us. We are here today, but we are gone tomorrow. We are gone never to be remembered exactly where we stood. Our memories by others, though they try to keep us alive, it fades from their minds when we die. We have to recognize, friends, that though we are here today and we seem to be multi-talented, we, we seem to be the greatest of all men. Some persons are celebrities. But when we die, we face the promise that we will slowly not be remembered. And if you take Michael Jackson, for example, though we still sing his songs, but though we are still titivated in our minds, especially females, by his songs, we recognize that we do not truly remember everything that he did. And that's the point the psalmist wanted us to understand. That our memories of our loved ones, though we try to keep them alive, it will fade from our minds. Oh yes, at times just a faint memory is left. Have you ever experienced a friend trying to remind you of a neighbor who lived in your community who died. They might have said, you remember Mas Joe? He lived out by the square and we usually passed his shop when we were going to school and he said, no sir, I don't remember him. Memory tends to fade. But the passage did not end there, just letting us know that memories fade. It goes on to help us to understand that the mercy of God never faded. That His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. That God's mercy is a permanent fixture. That it has permanent residences towards men even extending to our grandchildren. But it also reminded us that in order to receive God's mercy, we have to learn to fear God. We have to learn to reverence God. We have to learn to appreciate God and what He has done for us. It helps us to understand, friends, that we have to remember God's precepts, that we have to take each to his rule, that we have to do his commandment. The Bible says, Blessed are they that do it his commandment, that they may have right to the tree of life and enter through the gate into the city. So if we are interested in getting to the city, if we are interested in going through the gate, if we are interested to live eternally, we have to remember our God now. 
we have to remember the loving kindness of our Lord and that our God is faithful towards us. A verse 17 and verse 18 of the same Psalm, Psalm 103, that's where I says, God gives mercy and righteousness to those who keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments and do them. That is the goodness of God and his easy money. Thank you. 
No,
Okay. 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 Seen the face, those who have not seen no. the face yet. No, yes. No, yes. No, After you walk me, when you walk me, if you see it now, we are going to walk this another time. You know. <laughs> eh? Those who have not seen the relative face, don't so. I would like to come and take another glimpse at it. Yes, ma'am. Now and take a glimpse of it. Right away. So we are going to be closing soon. What a nice to start next All bearers, could you come closer to the casket and take up your position so that the video man can just jump in video you by the casket side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If all of you are not here, but at least three or four or five here, take up your position by the casket side. Here the video man could just video you.
Sylvester Thomas, who's right here, a specialist in mathematics for all his life. You know, I've been a very good friend of mine, and I've done funeral here before. So the family is not a stranger to me. And I can, one thing I can say to you, and I don't know where you get this synergy from. Jelly so close with one another, but you are a wonderful family. A gracious family, a loving family, empathizing family, a sympathizing family. The first occasion was not anything different from this. You know? And so I would like you to continue in that same relational fashion with one another. Oh, I see back in the dark and good. In there. Ready? I'm going to sing two programs now. The graveside yeah. of George. Right, George. And I trust really that as we do really the program, that the Holy Spirit will come down upon you. In good proportion, so as to keep you mentally stable, emotionally stable, and secular down. Because, yes, it is okay to cry, nothing is wrong with that. But you don't want to go on, go on, low me. Well, I don't want to go on, get me involved, low me. Low me, top. Good man, I don't want to go on, don't get me involved. Just get now. And, and the nice to with the Let us pray. Thank you. Prayer time. Thank you, Father. I know that Mr. George means so much to all of you in one way or another. I feel it, I see it, I hear it. It's in the church. I'm creepy. Yes. You know, this family is a closely knit family. There's no question about that. And I know that the Holy Spirit would want to just continue in that vein. I'm going to ask my brother and friend here to give him another two minutes, you know, while we do our two minutes of silence. Just gonna make this problem. Just catch him with this. Go down, sir. Go down, sir. Go down. Change this.
Again, we want to thank you for the life of our dear brother and friend, George, who has passed on, Lord. You know the reason why he has gone before these front end, Lord. So we do not question you, dear Father. But Lord, those of us who have left behind, we ask so God that we will draw much inspiration from all the positive values that he has left behind. We ask, so, Lord, that you see to it that everything be done to your name and on glory as we continue the committal of his body to the ground. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 No, you have to take out. Someone that got off a wall to take out them. Well, well, no, them, when they leave, I got a wall to take out them. Wall well, that? No, wall that. Wall that for you. Yeah, the mix of concrete now. A strength, you have to have a Take your foot off of that. Take your foot off of the iron. Take your foot off of the iron. Yeah. 
Really? Different man. We have put that there so far. That don't need to go there, sir. Yeah, so it needs to go. Black yeah, sir. Yeah, that too much. No, no, that all run down now. So put all the cup in the put the water in the bag. I'm going to put the water in the bag. I'm going to put the water in the bag. Yeah, so we have put that's <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>